Ah, uh, yes. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? We're back here on the MC Eternal Modded Misfits server, guys. And we were out here last episode. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you go check it out. It was RF Tool Dimensions. It was really cool looking. I think you guys would... I think you guys would like it. Uh, but I, I don't think I've talked to you guys a lot about... Um, my Discord server, there are a lot of new people joining up here, uh, so down in the description below you should see a link for the Discord server, go ahead and join that. We do have a Super Turtle Minecraft server, so it would be cool to see you guys join in and have a good time. But guys, today, we're going to be working on this room, and you might be wondering, what's in this diamond chest? Oh man, that's right guys, today we get crafty. So, I went ahead and made these enhanced, um, these enhanced alloy smelters. If we look at the recipe for these, yeah, they're very expensive. We needed end steel ingots. We needed some vibrant bimetal gears. We also needed some enhanced machine chassis, which aren't normal. They are the end steel chassis with these enhanced enhanced die blend. It's very, it's basically the same thing, except these are different. You just pulverize these guys up. But we've made 12 of them because uh, for each of these, we're gonna have, oh man, I should have made a few more. We should have made 16 of those. I did my math wrong. So we're, I want to have at least one of those on each side of this. <clears throat> so what we're going to have is this is going to be our big old crafting room. We're going to have our bulk crafting be over there in this room. I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but this is what I'm looking at. <clears throat> uh, I don't actually like the walls at all. Uh, I like the structure that I have where it kind of comes out here in the front and it's pretty square. We're going to keep the structure. I'm going to tear most of this stuff out um, and then we're going to redesign it. But the servers are going to be all the same. It's going to be just like this. These are all the chiseled blocks, the so chiseled glass and stuff like that. So you can't access it or anything. It looks like a server room. And then we're going to have all the access for like the different um, dense cables down below. I also tried to put these cool little vents here, but it didn't work out. And I forgot to put that one on so you can access it. Ooh, cheaty. But anyway, we're going to be working on that big room like I was talking about. So what was that? Oh, that's a rose. Rose bush. So let's see here. Uh, the floor is definitely not going to stay uh, sky stone, uh, but this is definitely going to be sky stone here. We're going to make this a, a different color. I'm thinking about doing like a dark gray concrete, uh, like the glowstone painted for this. So it'll look, it'll be, it'll look pretty good. Just trust me. But uh, we're definitely going to be keeping this, but we need to get these started. Now I've also got a heck ton of these elite smelting factories and enriching factories. So these are going to act like our pulverizers from our previous base. Because if we look here, we have ores building up. Like that's 24,000 iron that we can get out of that. And if we really get into mechanism, that could be like, you can get so much. I can't even math it so much. But another thing that we're doing this for. Um, so this is our only alloy smelter. Right now we're smelting up a bunch of vibrant capacitor banks to add around here. This is what we're going to go for. They're coming all the way out. Still haven't even done this side. But uh, yeah, we've got like almost 5 trillion power stored. But if you look here... We're getting really close to our limit. So we can only produce 10,000 RF per tick. And we're sitting at 8. 8,200. So this guy is becoming obsolete. So we need to be able to process a whole bunch of stuff for this guy. And if we look here in our pattern terminal, you can see that I've added all the crafting patterns for these guys. And I've also added a heck ton of molecular assemblers and ME interfaces over there. But we're going to be able to just sit here. I'm going to click these guys and be like, hey, Go ahead and craft it up for me, and it'll do that. So we're going to need a better place of doing it, and this is what this is for. So we're going to put the bulk crafting over there today, and we're going to be adding in all of our machines to automate. So first things first, we're gonna, I'm going to do one of these with you guys, and then we're gonna, I'm going to do the rest uh, off camera. So here, this is what we're going for. Um, so these are going to be going up here. It's going to basically encase the whole room with or the whole pillar and it's gonna go up we're gonna go up pretty wait it's gonna go up all the way up there nah i'm just kidding uh but it's gonna go up a while so i want to have it we're gonna have one of these it's gonna be just like this i'd like to have one of these on each side here like so and then you know we'll, we'll do it here like that it'll be like this all the way around and so the this alone will be for the crafting there. I also added in something else. I want to show you guys real quick because we're going to need to to do some stuff. But I, I added in a, uh, a way to get string from spiders. 
because I found a spider spawner, and I was like, you're mine. And then we threw him into our, our spawning system. So now we get string. So we're going to go ahead and make some more dense cables. All righty. Let's get these guys going. Oh, something else I want to show you guys that I did off camera. So I was having the issue of the, uh, if you guys remember a few episodes ago, we set up the uh, automation for all of our patterns, but I was having a problem because one ME interface had all three of them. So it would have to wait until each of these had been received. So I went ahead and I just isolated them to their own ME interface. So this one has the engineering processor. This one has the logic processor and the calculation processors on the back here. And we're still rocking the uh, import bus over here with three acceleration cards and a capacity card. Very cool. So this is, it's actually like quite a bit faster just because of that. So each of these is able to do their own thing at the same time. Now the other issue is we need to upgrade our, our processing units because this only allows for a certain amount of items to be able to be crafted at once. So we've also knocked that out too. Um, in here, as you can see, we have, uh, 60 64k processors are storage components so we're going to use these with the crafting units here and we're going to craft up some of the engineering processors so that we are able to um better help that so these will make the co-processing units we're just going to make 35 of these for now and these will allow us to make the co-processing units and i believe if i'm this is how it used to be i don't know if it still is but so this, the storage here at the bottom, the 264Ks allow how many items are able to be crafted. So if like it's the amount of the items in the craft itself. And then the co-processing units here. So say um, this will only craft one item at a time. This allows you to craft two of the items needed to craft at the same time. And this will allow for three. Now I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's set up. So we're going to add a whole bunch of these guys to ours. And I'd like to have... Uh, 18 of the, the 64k things at the bottom and then we're gonna have um let me just show you yeah because we can do that so it'll basically be a three by three just like this and for two rows we're gonna have the 64k like that then we're gonna have actually we're not gonna have all of them this one's gonna be a crafting monitor so we can see what each one of these is crafting which is really cool and then the top layer i don't know if we're gonna do one or two but we're gonna have the co-processing the pro Pro co-processing units here, so that's how it's going to be set up. I don't know uh, how good that's going to be, but we're gonna we're gonna wing it. You know, play everything close to the chest. So actually, let's go ahead and grab some more skystone because you know skystone is just delicious. Aha! There you are. Cool. So let's head on back up here. All of this is glowstone, so we're okay. We're gonna come up here, so there's one space gap in between. The top of that and stuff and now it seems like we're this is like a waste of a waste of space up here but it's gonna look good it's gonna, we're gonna have something come up over here it's gonna be covered in the back just trust me this is these look good i've never actually used these before i used one actually yeah, technically i've already used one but i used one recently and i loved it and it was like holy bananas batman that was a whole lot of awesomeness because that's what robin says right okay so these things hold Four million of the thingamabobber. And we're just going to leave it that because with the co-processing units, I believe we will be able to... We're going to need to... That's for our mass crafting. We're going to need to take a few of these, actually. Actually, that's all we needed. So we're going to convert these into the ME interfaces back here. And these are going to connect like so. And we're going to do... We're going to set up to push-pull. These are all going to be alloys only. We're not going to... We're not going to worry about uh, smelting. We'll have something else for that later okay so we need to configure each of these to push pull in the back so it receives the items and then kicks them back out so it receives the items from the ME interface and then it gives it back to the ME interface after it's done so like that did I set this to alloys only I did not and I said you to alloys only I did not okay so now all of these are set up here uh, we're gonna need to grab some cable now I want each of the sections to be a different color cable now that dense cable should be done crafting, yes sir. So let's look at some red dye. We got some red dye right here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make uh, 32 of these. Oh, I made 40, whoops. Okay, so we need to get some, do I have any lime dye left? I don't think I wanna do lime. Yeah, we, we're, gonna need, we're gonna do lime, it's okay. Come on, hello. There you are, we're gonna grab these two. And so we need some cable, cable. 
just enough to equal 32. So this kind of looks like, or, or not. Then we're going to need to get green. Ah, okay, so we're out. And then the next we're going to do is, oh my goodness. Next we're going to do is blue with the lapis. So we're, so we're going to get some more of this stuff crafted up. We're going to get more crafty. Ah, we're out of string. Shoot the dang foot in the dog. Okay, so dense cable. We're going to go ahead and just make 32 of these. We can't. Why? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna hold off on setting up one of those. I guess we'll just have to craft it off camera. So let's go ahead and we're gonna run the cable up. I don't know how high up we actually intend to go with it. So let's just wing it because you know winging it is just a great. It's fun. It's a fun time. It's gotta be even though. Even Steven. <laughs> Got it. Okay. And then Lime. So each of these will be their own ME circuit. You guys know how ME interfaces work. I think. If you don't, well, you're going to find out. Cool. So we're going to have blue up on the other side. This kind of looks like yellow. I mean, there's literal yellow onto it. That's not really the line. That's yellow. That's green. It's cool. Okay. So we need the cables as well. Just normal cable. So we have green cable. Good. We have... Uh, that cable, but we don't have any of the other cable. That's not good. So we're going to get this stuff crafted up. We need the red cable. Good. Good. Okay, so we got actually perfect. Look at that, 32. It's a good number. Okay, so... We will connect this up hither, here, here, um, here, and, oh, and here. Now we're going to run, we should be able to go like that, yeah, can't see it, because it's too close to the edge. Okay, so for, oh, okay. So for power, we're going to actually make... A skystone cable facade so that we can put the Ender IO conduits here and we can run power. So we're actually going to break these two, the two underneath. And then we're also going to need to run some cable down. I did leave some runways for it. Can I break this? I can. Look at that. Oh, that's right. I used concrete in here for a while. Uh, we did. I did leave these that run down. Uh, basalt. Look at that. Look where they run down. Beautiful. So that means they're going to run down on each of the corners. Oh, I like that setup. Um, yeah. So we need to break all of these. And this one. Wait. Yeah. So this is where... Yep. Yeah, look at that. Cool. So we're going to build our vibrant capacitor banks around our ME dense cables. I love it. And so these can run all the way down here. Yeah, we can move them over like this. Perfect. And then we'll break that. Uh, hello. Thanks. <gasps> Look! <gasps> Look at that! That's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna actually kick that out a bit. We're gonna run the, another red cable because look, this has got two channels on it, which isn't a big deal. But we're gonna run it somewhere else. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. We're gonna make the conduit stuff, conduit binder. Conduit binder. Composite. Composite. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna smelt it up here good. Here you go, have some speed. You guys are wondering, we did hit 48 hours, so we have two full days of time in a bottle. I don't know why. Okay, what is happening? Transparent conduit facade. Ooh, transparent hardened conduit facade. Just kidding, we don't need it. So one, two, three, four, like that. 
We're going to get some, actually we have conduit up there, but we're going to need to grab a few flux points. Look at that. We are almost freaking out of them. Okay. So, nope. Um, these need to go here. We need to grab some sky stone. Come on, please help me. Thank you. Sky stone. Look at that. Perfect. Sky stone. Ta da! They are done. Cool beans. So let's head on back up top. Now, the cool thing is we'll be able to access this from down there. We we'll don't have to worry about it. Look at that, 48, 48. Ooh, we duplicated it. Just kidding. It'll it'll correct itself soon. So here we go. Uh, let's grab the dense cable and do some runnage of the downage. Okay, so you're going to go over here. Actually, it really doesn't matter. Just kidding, it does. So, you, and then we're going to run this up. We, I don't think we have enough, actually. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not green. Okay, so we just need a few more. I'm going to take a few off the top, because I don't think we're going to go up this high, actually. We might, we might, we might, but I can do it later. Hello? Cool. So that is down there, like it should be. Okay. So these are almost connected. We need to, uh -huh. we need to grab these guys. Uh, I already grabbed these guys. So just like so. One more. It's nighttime. Sorry for the spook. Too spoopy. Okay, so those are connected. Okay, those are connected. And na -na 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 -na. Okay, those are connected as well. So we're gonna put the flux point just right here. I'm gonna do this. So now all these yahoos have power coming in. Yep, we sure do. Cool beans. So we are limited to 20,000 or a per tick or something, something like that. I don't even know. Let's paint it glowstone. Here we go, here's a conduit facade. So conduit facade goes here like so, here, and here. So look, there we go, like a glove. And now we're gonna actually, I would like, Yeah, that's going to look real good. Oh, man, we might even be able... Oh, baby, I just got a great idea. Not, not that. Uh, we need marble. Do I have... Yes, we do. Cool. Okay, check this out. Yes. Yes, this looks amazing. I am so happy. I like it. I don't like it. I don't just like it. I love it. That doggo is being loudo. Look at that. Mmm. It just looks like these are chilling. But no, these are literally already automated. Other than the fact that I don't have any cables. But they're automated. Yeah, baby. Cool. Let's go ahead. We're going to go up to the next level here. See, that was four... We actually, yeah, it was three by three. So just one, two, three, and then on the fourth one to come over. Okay, so this is the next one. This is gonna be where we process everything. Now I only did bring one ender chest because we're gonna have, we might have a rough time with this. Um, enriching factory, we are going, uh, I think we're just gonna have to have these flush out there. Um, we're going, Hmm, I like this here. So the enriching factories are going to be up there. The smelting factories are going to be here. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait a sec. Let's just do one in the middle like we did. Let's just keep that. I'll make more of the, the smelting factories and stuff like that. Uh, enriching here, smelting here. And we'll just do them on each of the sides. So enriching, smelting, smelting, enriching. So who are you? You're a smelter. Who are you? You're an enricher. 
Who are you? You're an enricher. Who are you? You're a smelter. Cool. Is that uh, enriching? So we need a smelting factory. Cool. So smelting goes low. Enriching goes high. Yes. Cool. So I think the best way to run power to these guys is going to be almost identical to how we did below. So we'll break these guys like so. Run the cable in. Oops. Like that. Like that. And then we will come up the back and basically do the same thing. Okay, so everything has got power. So let's go ahead and throw another flux point right here. Select our network. So everything should be getting power. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're good. We are good. When these things are running, though, guys, I don't know. I don't know if we can, like, maintain it. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to get 16 of these going. Okay, so 16 are done. This is great. All right, uh, we're gonna grab some conduit as well because we're gonna run those two. Okay. So power there, power there, power there. Okay. So we are gonna run items two here. Whoops, not there. Okay, so each of these are going to be on their own circuit, kind of. I guess we're going to insert on green and extract on brown, okay? And then we're going to insert on brown and extract on blue. Yeah, like that. Okay, so there we go. We're going to go ahead and link all of these together like so. You can just put with one cable here. Okay, so we don't we don't I think we need one there. Cool. So we are going to Oops. Our in and out chests are going to be up top here. Let's go grab them. So our import is going to be Mmm. This guy and our export is going to be this guy. Uh, we're going to need to change the colors of that one. Uh, so this is going to be insert on blue. So everything that comes out of this here will be shoved into our system. That's our main. Uh, we're going to need to make a separate ender chest channel. Okay, so I'm not using that for anything else. This is going to be our, our um, ore processing. And so we are going to put this... Here, and we're going to have some export uh, nodes on that. But let's go ahead and update our guy up top. Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, we need bone meal now. And another piece of lapis. For some reason, that didn't work. That bit moved or something. That's what it was. It wasn't me. Okay, blue there. And then we're going to do white in the middle. Okay, so we're going to set up some export buses. Okay, we don't have any crafted. One. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're going to get some of those crafted up. We're going to get some acceleration cards as well. Okay, let those crafts, I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the export buses, we got the capacity cards, the acceleration cards, and I believe we put this, yeah, over here. So we're gonna need the lime cable. So we have everything we need. So we're gonna go ahead and place you here, 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 and here. We got a, we got a few of these. So we're gonna place that, uh, that, 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 
that but okay so these are all connected together cool beans so we're gonna put uh, I'm gonna put two into this one two into this one and we're gonna go one into here and the other into here we're gonna fill up the rest with speed upgrades so that way this is quick I'm actually excited to see how fast this can process. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to clear our inventory as much as we can. We really won't need any of this for a little bit. Okay, we got everything. We got Athena here. She's chilling good. All right, so now we're going to grab all of the ores that we have. Okay, so Galia, whatever, Black Quartz, can you be pulverized? Uh, enrichment chamber, what do you do? Black quartz, okay, so we're not gonna do that one. Tin ore, uh, actually, we don't wanna do galley or copper. We're gonna move these over like this. Iron, bauxite. Okay, so we're actually putting these in the order of priority. Uh, boron, lead, we won't do cinnabar. Uh, lithium, definitely, magnesium, definitely. Silver, of course. Osmium, heck yeah. Uranium, let's give it a shot. Thorium, all right. Gold, put that up there in the high priority. Nickel, down here. Uh, iridium, down here. Platinum, nice. Okay, and then these are the ones I open up by my own, okay. So I think that's all we're gonna do for that. We might have done it a little overkill, but let's give it a shot. So these ones have this the the speed upgrade. So we'll do gold, iron, copper, and ten. Gold, iron, these four like that. Okay. Then we'll put these all in here like so. And then we'll do, so those are in there. So let's get these out of our inventory. And then these are in there. So let's get these out of our inventory. Yep, and then, okay, so we did do it a little overkill, but that's okay. Because now our system should start processing very good. And we need to set this up. Okay, so this is the new place for them to be. I haven't set this to extract yet on green. All right. So let's, let's see here. Oh no, we might, oh, that's right. Okay, so the back. Mm. Um, this is tough. We need to break. Okay, so we're going to turn off the insert on the back of these ones. So they're going to extract out the back. Man, mechanism, why you got to be like this? Yeah, they're not even taking power now. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna have to give power to these guys from the top. We can we can get around it. We can get around it. Don't worry. Okay. So let me do something enough camera. I'll be right back. All right. So we figured it out. So I went ahead and used these impulse item ducts here to go ahead and get all of our gold dust and stuff like that out of here. We got these all sorting up. None of these are upgraded yet. So we are gonna go ahead and do that later on. What I've done here is we're gonna make the tops where the energy comes in. So everything, oops, everything still works out pretty good. All right, you and you. Okay, cool, so now all of these are getting power. If we look here, ooh, sorry. If we look here, we're getting power from the top, we're outputting from the bottom, and we're getting in from the back. And then down here, we are receiving uh, input from the top, we're outputting in the back and receiving energy from the bottom. And I also went ahead and we have the other cable stuff here, like so. 
And boom. Check that out, guys. Auto th th sorting stuff is done -o. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to need to get some more marble going. Oops, I keep grabbing the glass. Marble. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just grab the normal marble here. And we're also going to get some more conduit covers going. Uh, so let's go here like this. We're just going to get a couple. 36, that's good. Come here to the painter. Now we're not going to put any glowstone back here, unfortunately. Because if we did, you would be able to tell between the glowstone and the conduit cover. And that's something we don't want. Let's go up here and make it beautiful. Okay. So, I mean, it's important. It's important that it functions, but it's more important that it looks pretty. All right. And so, as you can see, this is not difficult at all, but we will have to put those conduit covers there so we can go ahead and block that. Look at that, look at that. Sorry for the rain, guys. All right, let's so check that out. That is our, oops, I didn't put a conduit. Oh boy, I missed. I can't believe I missed this. Look at that, there we go. So we have our processing systems going. We have our alloy smelters. Now we're gonna duplicate this on each one of these. So it's gonna be like pow, 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 pow. And so these will allow us, actually no, these are gonna allow us to upgrade that really soon. And I'm really excited about that because these are much faster than the normal ones. And now we have f actually five of them automated right now. Because we have the four here, and then we also have the one down below still. And if you guys are wondering, I am eating golden apples because I believe that thing is giving me radiation poisoning, and these counteract it. So if I just eat these for food, I'll be solid. We don't have to worry about it because they are at minus 100 rads if you look down in the bottom right. But guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. I thought we were going to be able to get over there to our bulk crafting, but this processing unit ended up taking a little bit longer than normal. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these guys, and I'm also going to upgrade upgrade these guys off camera but again if you guys love the video make sure that you go to the the link in the description for the discord server and join on the super turtle fan server because we're having a lot of fun over there i've been playing a little too much of that that's might, might be why we didn't have a video wednesday uh, i was playing too much vanilla minecraft with all my buddies so anyways guys i'll see you all in the next episode thank you so much i love your face bye <laughs>